All right, we have. Are we looking good? We're we're live. Hey everyone, thanks for joining in. We're uh, we're gonna wait just a few more minutes here and let uh, let some people join in to the live Q and A. We uh, really appreciate you tuning in. Um, we're super excited about the. Uh, the brand new goat here, the Go All Terrain, and so we'll uh, we'll uh, be uh, answering all of your questions. We'll uh, we'll give people about let's say about another minute or so, and then we'll uh, we'll get this rolling. All right, um, I think we'll go ahead and uh, get this started here. Um, my name is Sale and I'm here with Sylvan Sport and we are uh, gonna be answering all of your questions about our all new Go All Terrain. I also have with me Brandon, he is our lead engineer here. Hi, how's everybody doing? So um, yeah, um, let's, uh, let's do this. Well, uh, we have uh, Caitlin on standby uh, reading off all your questions here so uh, we can go ahead and get started. I'm gonna turn this around so you can look at the uh, new o Go All Terrain instead of looking at me. All right, uh, we got a question on pricing. So pre-orders are gonna start today. They're actually uh, available and ready to get going right now. The Go All Terrain is gonna base price at $18,495. And um, the, uh, that's gonna be for your base model. It'll come with everything you need to really get a great camping experience, get to utilize all of the capabilities of the GOAT, um, you know, really be able to uh, get out and have a great time in it. Uh, we do have a couple accessory packages, much like our Go Camper. Uh, so we will have a Goat Big and a Goat All Out. And those are all accessory packages. So the goat, the base goat will stay the same. The main difference is gonna be what actually comes with it. So what accessories come with it. Okay, all right, so we got a question about uh, some uh, overall trailer specs and what makes this um, off-road capable and also what differentiates it from our Go, which we have set up right next to it. All right, so the main difference between the GOAT and the GO trailer is our GO trailer is pretty much our over the road, lightweight hauler and uh, camping trailer. And the GOAT trailer is a little bit more robust. We have a subframe built underneath of it to support the um, additional weight of the off-road system, which is the, um, the Timbrin axle suspension. It has a 2000 pound axle system on it with 3,500 pound hubs. And we pushed the axle back as far as we could uh, on the chassis so that we had a really nice departure angle on there and you're not gonna be dragging this thing through ruts and divots um, while you're off on the trails. Um, and with the additional subframe under there, we um, gain an additional, I th think it was close to six inches of ground clearance versus the go uh, over the road version. Um, and with using the timber and axle, less suspension, we actually gain full clearance underneath there. So we don't have a axle tube in the way anymore. It's wide open. Um, as sales going through, you can see the difference between 
uh, the GOAT and the GO over the road version. Uh, the tires are much bigger, the subframe and the axle suspension gets you that extra ground clearance. Also on the, uh, the GOAT we have a more robust um, construction, so the side panels are constructed in a different way, it's a little heavier duty. Um, it allows you to um, basically load the trailer up like you would the original GO and still maintain um, full strength. And with that new design, we are able to fully enclose with the side panels the, um, the sides of the trailer to make it you know, more um, resistant to water spray and you know, the elements and keeps your stuff a little bit more secure than um, the GO trailer uh, would. Okay, yeah, uh, there's a question about where we make these. Uh, we make these trailers right here in Brevard, uh, North Carolina. Um, we try to source everything that we can uh, locally within, I think, an 80 mile radius. So we really try to um, bring um, the economy, you know, you know, local economy up with us and uh, use as many suppliers that are nearby. Um, all of our factory workers are obviously local um, and um, everybody lives you know within 20 miles which is great Do we need tongue weight? yes the uh, question about the tongue weight so the tongue weight on this is going to be a little bit more than the go trailer um, but it's not too bad and we were able to engineer it in a way that it doesn't exceed most cars um, so the tongue weight on the trailer dry without um, a load is uh, 240 pounds, so that kicks you under, you know, your 250 max. Um, and obviously, with the axle all the way back at the rear of this trailer, it is going to go up. But um, if you have a truck or anything like that that can haul, you know, a regular trailer per se that has like an 800 pound tongue load, you're going to be just fine. Volume okay. So the goat, while we uh, while we really uh, increased the uh, capability, the off-road capability of the subframe on the goat, the camper system actually remains the same as the go, as a really uh, comfortable, open, spacious. Um, tent camper that gives you a lot of options and versatility for how you configure it in terms of right now you can see it as our standard kind of two beds table in the middle the table is easily removable um, the beauty is this can also convert into one large sleeping platform which is equivalent in size to about a king plus bed so you can fit easily fit four adults in here, plus a dog or two. So it makes it a, uh, you know, really spacious. There is standing room for people up to six foot five inches. If you are taller than that, you can still stand in here, but you might just barely touch this mesh top, which is uh, kind of nice because then you're not actually bumping your head. You're just uh, up against a uh, soft top there. The bed platform is 80 inches long and it's 34 inches wide so you get a ton of comfortable moving around rolling around flipping around space um, and the uh, the uh, um, the table panels all store above into the uh, mesh attic part and so that way it's nice and uh, stowable and it's really contained so you don't have to you know, keep everything outside in bins. The camper itself remains really, really contained, and then that leaves a lot of your other uh, storage space for gear and toys and things like that. And so to give you an idea, for those that aren't familiar, if you look at this camper, this entire camper is stored right in here in this tent pod. So that's one of the beauties of the go is, and the goat is that regardless of how you're using the trailer, you always have your tent with you. And so it's not really an option of, oh, can we bring our dirt bikes or can we bring, 
extra gear um, and do we have to leave the camper behind uh, and opt for a ground tent or something like that, you can actually keep your camper with you while you have all of this cargo area. And then we also have the expanded cargo area that uh, you probably saw in the video where we, uh, you can haul things like motorcycles. All right, next we had a question about the uh, coupler option. So come on up here to the front. Um, standard, the GOAT is priced to include a um, two-inch ball coupler that bolts to our three-inch uh, draw tube. Uh, we have an off-road articulating coupler that is an optional upgrade if that's something that you want. And with that off-road articulating coupler, it will actually um, pivot in three planes. So it'll pivot like your normal ball would pivot this way. And then it also pivots up and down and then it'll pivot up and down and to the side too. And it's a positive lock. So you know how when you, you're using a ball coupler, there's a rattling going on in here if you don't have it fully adjusted. Well, the off-road articulating coupler actually uh, positive locks on. We don't have one here to show you um, at the moment, but it actually latches together and you pin it and it's fully locked on there. Um, and the brand that we're going with initially is a lock and roll. Um, it is rated at 11,000 pounds for their base unit that we're going to be putting on this trailer. So it's plenty to haul this trailer and you won't ever have to worry about it. Easily greasable. Um, and uh, if you don't like that option, you can buy it with a two inch coupler and put on your um, preferred setup. I know that there's a couple other ones out there that um, some overlanders and off-roaders uh, prefer. Okay. Well, I'll give you another quick little walk around of it and just point out some stuff. Um, we do have some mud, mud flaps on here that are optional. It just helps kick up or protect any kick up from the, uh, the tread of the tires for anybody following you. Uh, we have 20 inch jacks on here. Um, and these jacks are easily um, manually uh, lowering and they lower far enough that you don't have to have a secondary jack to on the trailer to change a tire. They will lift the tire three inches off the ground. Um, the step um, will rotate down to be level with any ground now that this, the goat is actually taller than the over the road go. Um, we have to stop that step so that you have a flat surface to step on. Um, and this step actually folds up and becomes the, um, the tailgate holder and the tailgate itself. Um, some options for this trailer that we're, going, that we're currently uh, working on is a swing out tailgate. Um, and these will be available sometime this, uh, in the late summer. Um, it'll be a swing out tailgate that will swing open to street side. Um, and it'll have a table that you can flip up and a stowed step that you'll be able to stick on to the pins here and have a step there. And that'll enclose this whole backside. And on that is gonna be an optional uh, spare tire holder. So instead of it being on the curb side, it'll actually put it back on the tailgate and it will um, bring it out of the wind and also lower your tongue weight a little bit. Um, Yes, yeah, so the question was if you can mount the tailgate after they buy the goat. Yes, the, um, the tailgate will be sold as a kit for anybody that wants to put it on after they purchase the goat. Um, it is a pretty simple install and in how we engineered it. Uh, it's just a matter of six bolts um, and everything else is pretty much just, it's just a bolt on kit. Uh, you can buy it with the tailgate. Well, you can buy the tailgate with the spare tire carrier or without if you like the spare tire being on the side. Um, there's a lot of accessory options that can that, are, that we're working on with this trailer. Um, one of them being visually, right now, being visual, you can see that we have uh, mole panels on the side. So we have a bunch of different size mole panels if you didn't want to have your rotopacks mounted to it. These are optional, by the way. Um, you can put mole panels on. Um, you can have one that is, you know, one, one width, so five inches wide or 10 inches wide, 12, 16, and you can build it out custom how you want it. We also put on the, uh, the ones that go on the sides of the, um, the fenders just to give you an idea what they would look like. Uh, 
what else do we got here? Do you have another question? Do we have any more questions? The stabilizer jacks. Um, the stabilizer jacks, I will actually demonstrate them. They're made by BAL or BAL jacks. Um, and in our storage box, we keep the we keep the little handle for it. <clears throat> and they're really simple. They have this nice little ratchet on there. Um, you can buy an adapter and you can do this with a drill. Just put it on and they just come on down. Super quick, super easy. Um, it is enough. To, these things are strong enough and long enough that they will lift the full trailer off the ground. You know, the idea with this jack system is that uh, it sh should lift the trailer about three inches off the ground on all four corners. Um, and that is essential for anybody that's taking this um, goat off road and back into the back country because you're never going to find some even ground. It's always going to be uneven in some way. All right, I'm gonna hand the mic over to to Sale here real quick. He's a little bit more um, knowledgeable on the cargo and cargo capacity. All right, so <clears throat> in this uh, mode right here, you can see the, uh, the diamond plate deck that is uh, uh, that we make for uh, durability and lightweight and also traction. So if you're in there and it's a uh, been rainy or snowy, you will get some extra traction if you're walking around on it. But the dimensions on this are seven feet long, four feet wide, and in this configuration, you get 17 inches of height, which will fit um, many of the bins and coolers out on the market. So it'll be four feet wide, seven feet long, and 17 inches tall. There is that secondary uh, position where um, the uh, bed panels are in the upright position, so if you wanted to carry motorcycles or larger pieces of gear, and that is four feet wide, seven feet long, but it's four feet tall. So you get four feet of height in uh, when it's in uh, what we call transport mode. And then, um, yeah, and so those are your two options to be able to travel down the road. You have 17 inches tall and you have four feet tall, and then the floor will stay at four feet by seven feet. And the, uh, um, the carrying capacity is going to be um, 950 pounds. So your overall carrying capacity is 950 pounds. The rack system can carry 200 pounds. Um, but just keep in mind that when you add something onto the rack system, that does go into your overall carrying capacity. So then if you have um, uh, 100 pounds on your rack system, your the rest of your cargo, uh, you can go up to uh, 850 pounds. And then if you notice, Brandon just demonstrated how the jack can be used to raise the wheel completely off the ground. This is not magic, this is actually real. The jack lifted the wheel off the ground enough that you can change the tire if you need to. Uh, we will not be. Yep. So, <clears throat> um, where can you see one? Um, first, you can see one at our factory here in uh, the beautiful mountains of uh, Blue Ridge Mountains in Brevard, North Carolina. We are in front of our factory right now. And we would love for you to come visit us. Um, it's a beautiful place to come stay. And we are a great pit stop um, along for that visit. And so, of course, you can see it here. Um, and you can get a full demo and all that good stuff. We will be attending some events this year. Um, this weekend is our very first event with the GOAT. And we're going to be in Stark, Florida for the Southeastern Adventure Vehicle Expo. And that is this weekend. We will be in Stark, Florida for that. So if uh, you're itching to uh, make a road trip and head to Florida, and we'll be there. We'll be at Stark. Um, in May, we will also be at Getting Gear Fest in Asheville, North Carolina. That is with the Outdoor uh, Business Alliance. Uh, that's a great local uh, 
outdoor um, manufacturing organizations. So there's a lot of great stuff there. We will be there as well. Um, we will be at the WNC or Western North Carolina Jeep Rally. That is in Waynesville, um, I believe, and that is in June. And we will have more coming along the way. I think uh, our event calendar is, uh, is quickly filling up. So there's going to be more and more opportunities to see this. And um, our dealer network is also going to, is very excited about the GOAT. So over the next two or three months, we will uh, keep everyone posted in terms of uh, where, new uh, where you can find the GOAT at, uh, at dealers across the country. So uh, if you stay, uh, Sign up for our uh, news, our e-newsletter, and we'll keep everyone posted on that end um, in terms of where we'll be and when, uh, new dealers and uh, other ways you can see the goat. Yep. All right. So we are. Um, everything is going live today. So pre-orders will start today. We do. We are going on a first come, first serve basis to be able to. Uh, place your pre-order uh, is going to be a $5,000 deposit um, prior to pickup we will contact you to um, for the balance and at that point you can decide which package you want which accessories and add-ons but um, to go ahead and to get on our production schedule um, uh, go ahead and uh, get uh, place the pre-order the uh, we'll be including a link in the comments here uh, shortly and um, yeah, um, I think uh, delivery will be beginning early April, so I believe April 1st we'll start delivering. And um, and the other, uh, oh, the other good way to actually see this is uh, we do do virtual demos. So what you can do is uh, you can set up a call, similar to like what we're doing now with this live video, but it'll be a one-on-one -on -one call with a member of our team and we can walk you through all the ins and outs. You can ask any questions you want. We can, uh, you know, you can get a better idea of how this is actually sets up and goes from this low compact, low profile trailer into this really expansive uh, camper. Yep. All right. Um, last call for questions. Uh, anybody else got uh, got anything? All right. Well, from all of us at Silman Sport, a uh, huge thank you for uh, tuning in and joining us today. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the uh, video, we are super excited about the uh, the all new Goat. Uh, we hope you are too. It's uh, it um, it really is. It's, it's a lot of fun. We've been over the last few months. We've been uh, um, you know arduously taking it on you know test drives and trips and. Uh, you know, and kind of putting it through its paces, and um, and uh, you know, kudos to Brandon for putting together a uh, a pretty uh, a, a pretty great trailer here. We've uh, we've really been having fun with it, and uh, we think you will too. So, um, if you have any more questions, or if you have uh, need any more information, uh, go to our Goat landing page. Uh, it's the Go All Terrain um, Camping Trailer, and uh, you can either schedule a call, you can book a video demo. Um, there's also places where if you would like to pre-order, you can go ahead and place your pre-order. Um, and uh, that way, uh, you know, starting in April, uh, all, of these, uh, all of these goats will uh, start leaving our factory. So thank you again. And um, yeah, appreciate it. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you out there.